God is truly good to you. Worship him tonight. Let him know that your faith truth is a good God. Appreciate him for his faithfulness, for his provisions, for fighting your battles, for deliverance. Appreciate his strong to her. Appreciate his your refuge and your strength. Daddy, we worship you tonight. Daddy, we give you praise. My eyes have seen. My ears have heard. All the mighty things ah, and was powerful love. show of love towards me. faith truth that you are good. You are the good, good lover. Thank you for your faithfulness. Daddy, thank you for what you did for us in these past three days. Thank you for coming down in your power. Thank you for coming down in your might. Thank you for giving us overflowing laughter. Thank you for turning sorrow into joy. Daddy, we say be thou exalted in the mighty name of Jesus. For tonight, we have not gathered unto any man. We have gathered unto you tonight. Come and do that which only you can do. In the faith click of today, Abba Father, come and show up yourself as the Bam in Gilead. Come and show up yourself, Abba Father, as the Jehovah Rapha, as the doctor of all doctors. Do that which only you can do and take all the glory. Have your way, O Lord. Let no man see me tonight. Let them see you alone. As many that have called to this service today, whether in church or online, Daddy, let there be a divine visitation. Let there be a divine touch. Thank you, ancient of days. Blessed be your holy name forever. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. And let somebody that's already swimming in overflowing laughter shout a louder hallelujah. God bless you, please. You can be seated. God bless you, choir. While you are seated, tell your neighbor to your left and right. Beloved, for me, it is settled already. Yes, it is settled. Why? Because you have entered your season of your overflowing laughter. You cannot be swimming in the well of overflowing laughter and still be carrying that burden. You cannot be swimming in the well of overflowing laughter and still be experiencing problems, troubles. And that's why I have the assurance to tell somebody tonight that for you, it is settled. That which you are trusting the Lord or believing the Lord for. Because God has come down by himself to make us laugh. An unending laugh. Ah, beloved, that matter, it is settled. Whether your faith can carry it or not, it is settled. And the witness to that word is in Psalm 119 and verse 89. Psalm 119 verse 89. Forever, O Lord, thy word is settled. In where? Is it in your village? Or is it in the court? Where? Forever, O Lord, thy word is is settled and what God has settled no man can unsettle it because he is the alpha and the omega he has told you already that you have entered your season of your overflowing laughter and nothing will stop that laughter nothing will steal that laughter nothing will steal that joy it doesn't matter what the economy is saying beloved if you look at what is happening around you you'll be so discouraged you will feel like just giving up. But thank God for this breakthrough encounter. Because there's an assurance that my tomorrow must be greater than my today. I don't know about you, but for me, my tomorrow will be greater than my today. Why? Because the word of the Lord says that forever, O oh Lord, thy word is settled. 
I don't know that's all that is in the house tonight or watching us online that is so discouraged, that is at the verge of giving up, that is thinking that the only way out is just to take your life. Beloved, don't even go there. If not for God, it would have been worse. Oh, after 20 years, God now blessed you with a baby. Before you know, they said it's miscarriage. It's not enough for you to take your life. But the good news I have for you tonight is that there will be no more miscarriage. There will be no more still bats. This one will end in praise. Mother alive, baby alive. In the mighty name of Jesus. Why? Because the word of God said, forever, oh Lord. Thy word is settled in heaven. The person that settled your word is, is the word himself, is the king of kings. John 1, 1, in the begin, John 1 and verse 1, in the beginning, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was who? God. The word is not man. The word we're talking about is not Buhari. The word is not about any person. The word is God himself. And the word himself is telling you tonight that forever, that, that your matter has been settled. That, that your cry concerning your children, that you will cry no more. That you will weep no more. That you will not labor in vain. That you will build and you will inhabit. That you will not build for another person to live. That with long life will he satisfy you. That is his word. Beloved, God bless you. You can be seated. The only way to survive in a time like this is to be eating the word of God. If you live outside this word of God, depression will take over you. If you live outside this word of God, beloved, you will begin to struggle. You cannot even go far. But thank God for the season that we are. The season of overflowing laughter. And the only way we can sustain this laughter is through the word of God. And I pray that the grace we need, that God will give unto us. Please, let's look at Joshua 1 verse 8. Joshua 1 verse 8. If you want to continue in this season of overflowing laughter, if you truly want that this word has been set already to remain permanent, then you must be addicted to your Bible. You must be addicted. You must get drunk with it. He said, this book of the law, please, let's take it together, beloved. Let's take it together. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. But what will you do? Thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt... And then thou shalt have what? So it means that there are bad success and there are good success. And the only way you can, be, you can prosper and make this good and and to have this good success is for you to be addicted to your bible you shouldn't be addicted to what you are seeing around you because every song the only song people are singing now is covid 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 but your own case has been settled and that's why your song will be my case is different yo i be god picking my case is different, oh, I go the shakara. My case is different, favor is my name. My God, the day, oh, the day, the day, the day. Your case is different, yo, oh, you be God picking. Your case is different, oh, you go the shakara.
this word of God and people are shouting COVID, COVID, COVID. Beloved, if you don't have the word of God, when you hear those matter, you will be worried. But somebody called me this afternoon. He said, Mommy, there's one thing you told me some weeks back. And that thing has been helping me. I said, what did I even tell you? He said, Mommy, you said you have chosen happiness instead of sadness or sorrow. I said, yes, so. Last month, you bought rice, 17,000. Before you know, they say it's 20. Before you know, 26,000. Local rice, so. Not foreign. What we made in Nigeria, we cannot even afford it. But if you have Jesus, if you remember that he has assured you that your case has been settled and you have made up your mind to choose happiness and forget what this news is giving you because why? The Lord is your shepherd and he cannot be your shepherd and you are his sheep, you will be in want. It's not possible because daily, Psalm 103 says, he daily loads us with what? Benefits. And he cannot load any, every one of us except those that are his children. So if that God is your God, if that God that has said that, your, that his word has already been settled is your God, and he daily loads us with benefits, certainly he will load you with his benefits. It doesn't matter what is going on in the country and the economy. Your case is different. Why? Because you have Jesus. Praise the Lord. So that person that is in the house tonight getting discouraged, please don't be discouraged. Because Numbers 23 verse 19, what did he say? Numbers 23 19. He said, God is not a man that he should lie. God is not a man that he should lie. He will not promise you and fail. He will not say, call me. And when you call, he will not pick your call. He will not tell you, call me. And he will switch off his phone. He said, God is not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man that he should repent. Had he said, and shall he not do it? Has, has God said anything about concerning you? Has he not done it? If not, hold on. Or had he spoken, and shall he not make it good? It's not possible. He's a good God. And all the promises, all the prophecies you have received in these three days, they will begin to manifest. Why? Because your case has been settled. No more troubles. No more shame. No more weeping. In the mighty name of Jesus. Why am I so sure? Because in Jeremiah 29 verse 1, 11, Jeremiah 29 11 says, For I know, for I know, the thought I have for you, former, I don't know about you. Let's take it together. Jeremiah 29. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you. It doesn't matter how much they are selling rice. If rice is what you want to eat, you will eat that rice. It doesn't matter how much they are selling car, you will still buy a brand new car. It doesn't matter how much they are selling land, you will still buy land and you will still build a house. Why? For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, said the Lord of, thought of what? Peace. Beloved, when you hear things happen every day, peace go go. But if you remember that this God, that what he thinks towards you and I, is thought of what? Peace and not of evil. To give you what? An expected end. Beautiful expected end. Nobody is expecting anything evil. There's an expected end. Trust in for a wonderful marriage, a wonderful wedding, a wonderful house, beloved. Because, you're, because he has said it already for you, it will come to pass. In the mighty name of Jesus. And every force that want to contend with your peace, God will contend with them tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every good thought that the Lord has for you, they will begin to manifest. By the reason of the overflowing laughter season that we have entered. In the mighty name of Jesus. Why am I so convinced that it will surely come to pass? It's in Matthew 24 verse 35. He said, heaven and earth shall pass away. But my words. Not just one word though. But my words shall not pass away. And how do you know this word? 
you must study this Bible. When you, when you get to the word he has said concerning you, you write it down. You begin to run with it. When the world wants to give you bitterly, there's no way. My God is not a wicked God. The thought he throws, it seems towards me, is thought of good. So you cannot give me bitter leave. You will reject bitter leave with all your strength, all your might, because the thought that this God has for you and I is thought of good. It's not thought of pain. It's not thought of shame. It's not thought of sorrow. It's not a thought of of, of, of sickness is thought of good thought of peace in this season it doesn't matter what is happening around us our case is settled and our case is different why? because we have Jesus and that is why in this season it is anything we must do so that there will be a manifestation of what the Lord has already settled in our lives we must stay focused Tell your neighbor, stay focused. Jesus is the only way. He's the truth and the life. There's no shortcut. What Jesus cannot do does not exist. What Jesus cannot do, nobody can do it. Because he's the God of all flesh. If great men, if great men in great countries can have, can have the COVID-19, how much more? great countries with everything they have COVID still brought them down but see you and I because we have Jesus he's our preserver I pray that the grace we need in a time like this if there's one thing that God allowed whatever has happened now to happen is because he wants men to know that he's the only true God he wants men to know that there's no other there's no other way that Jesus is the only way. And that only Jesus can save. As soon as the whole world comes to this reality, oh, there will be perfect peace. But thank God that you and I know that Jesus is the only way. Let us now run with him. With everything in us. Let us stay focused. Let us avoid distraction. Because the devil is throwing out things that will distract us. Things that will, make, that will weigh you down. And you now say, ah, beloved, Jesus is the only way. I pray that God will help us that even this laughter he has put in our mouth, even this laughter he has filled our lives with, that we will love this laugh and nothing will stop our laugh in the mighty name of Jesus. Tell your neighbor it is settled already. I hear in my spirit that somebody is changing levels. Somebody is changing levels. You have never flown plane before. But where God is taking you now, you cannot move except you fly. God will so take you high that before you know it, <laughs> your song will not be, if you know me before. And who can do that transformation? It's Jesus. If you know me before. If you know me before, you're not gonna know me again. That will be your song. Yes. Yesterday, when we told us that when people will see what God have done, they will say, Oh, me wo ya, Jehovah Jireh, me wo ya, Abu mi hembo, me wo ya, Oh, me re ya no ge ya. This is your set time Amen. because you have entered your sin of our flowing laughter. I still hear in my mind that. Somebody is changing levels. Somebody is changing levels. That job coming is a big one. There's no how you can be in Abuja, Portacot, Lagos by driving. So, airport will not become like your, like care for you. Airport to airport. But only promise this God that you will not fail him. Jesus is looking for those that he can trust. If Jesus can trust you, before this year is over, the level will so change that you will marvel. And anything that want to fight, fight your new level, God will fight them tonight. Because you are a champion, you are changing levels. 
declare it to your mouth. Because I am a champion, I am changing levels. Prophetically, change levels. Change, yes, take a step. I am changing levels. Oh, I'm getting bigger, I'm getting greater. And out of seven persons, I am changing levels. Malika Braka doze kele brogo doze kele. Lige brogo doze kala brada doze kala brada da. Lige brogo doze kele brogo doze kele brada doze kala bo. Rika kaka braka doze kala brada doze kele brogo do do. Malige brogo doze kala brada doze. As you have declared it, so it is in Jesus' name. For that one that has never had babies, you are changing levels because your babies are coming. Twist and triplets as you desire it. But remember, the Lord said the word, stay focused. Stay focused. Jesus is the only way. Stay focused. God bless you. Can be said briefly. Stay focused. Hebrews 12 talks about looking unto Jesus. Not unto Yahoo. Looking unto Jesus, beloved, in a time like this, all you need for a confirmation of the settled word is to look unto Jesus continually. I told us yesterday how uh, after we have finished from a great program, the devil wanted to strike, but Jesus blocked it. I was trying to feel, he wanted to distract me from my miracle of day two and day three. The two fold, I am sorrowing. They did not take life. If they have taken life, I will not be here now. So I don't know what you think that you have lost that want to take you out of Jesus. Beloved, stay focused. Tell your neighbor, stay focused. Every trap of the enemy to distract you in this season so that there will be no, there will be no manifestation. In the mighty name of Jesus, they are destroyed in the name of Jesus. And the grace you need to stay focused, the grace you need to continually look unto Jesus, receive tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. What must I do again, beloved? Seek God first. I've told us that the, the, why God allowed what's happening now so that men can come to the reality that Jesus is the Lord. That only him is God all by himself. He does not need any man to be the God that he is. And forever, oh Lord, thy word has been settled. Great men say words, they don't even keep them. How much more? But the God that we are serving is the God that his word has already been settled in heaven. I pray that the grace we need to seek him in every good work, in righteousness, according to Matthew 6, 33, that God will give unto us. When I was growing up, there was this song my father always sing for us. You will start this word is too difficult. This word is not difficult. It's difficult for those that are greedy. They will post, they will tell you, put two and get 50. Where are they? If it's too easy, why they not get them? Why, why they can't they tell you? If it's as easy as ABC, they should have carried everything. But if you look unto this Jesus, the author and finisher, this, this God that daily loads you, he knows that you need that benefit. So daily he loads you with the one for that day. But you want to take the one for 50 years. Will you be alive to enjoy that 50 years? But if you follow Jesus step by step, anywhere you lead me, I will go. He said, in all your ways, acknowledge him. And what will happen? In all your ways, in all your ways, in all your ways. Jesus is looking for those that will acknowledge him in a time like this. Jesus is looking for us men that will trust him. And as we pray tonight, you will cry to this God. Everything that will not allow yourself to do what to manifest in my life. If I'm the cost, Father, deal with me tonight and deliver me. Yes, so you will start with yourself first. And is there anybody in the house tonight that is with all heads bowed? That is that your cry tonight is, Father, ah, I need I need you to settle me tonight. I am tired of the valley experience. I am tired. Ah, 
I've, I've, I've gone through these three days of powerful program, overflowing laughter, but you still know within you that of a truth, something is still left. And except Jesus takes over, ah, it will be difficult. Just say, Father, help me. Just with a wave, say, Father, tonight, I need your help. I need your help tonight. I need your help tonight. I need your help tonight. I need you to help me tonight. Beloved, only Jesus can save. Only him can help. Only him can deliver. Cry to him tonight. Father, Lord, I need you tonight. Like never before. Ah, I want to be a living wonder. Pass me not, O gentle Savior. He my humble tonight the Lord will not pass any one of us by in Jesus name please let's be on our feet as we begin to appreciate this God for the word that has been settled already just say Father I thank you for the assurance that concerning me your word has been settled no just give him praise thank you blessed Redeemer for in Jesus mighty name we have prayed say Father Father I cry to you tonight Show me mercy. If that is your cry to that, cry to it. Father, show me mercy. Whatever that will not allow my laughter to overflow, let your mercy prevail tonight. Let your mercy prevail tonight. Let your mercy prevail. I cry for your divine mercy. Let your mercy prevail tonight. Show me mercy. Ah, show me mercy tonight. Show my children mercy. Show my husband mercy. Show my wife mercy. Show your church mercy. As a nation, show us mercy. Let your mercy prevail. Ah, rebuke us not in thine anger, O oh Lord. Father, show us mercy. Show us mercy. In any way we have been hindering you, Abba, Father. Ah, Daddy, in any way we have been the enemy of our own self. Father, show us mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus, whatever that will not allow me ah, to experience overflowing laughter, even as you have sent forth your word, Abba Father, let your mercy prevail. I cry to you tonight. Ah, chest, don't chase me in your heart displeasure, oh Lord. Let your mercy prevail. I cry for your mercy. Concerning myself, my children, my husband, we cry for mercy. Concerning your church, we cry for mercy, Lord. Concerning Nigeria, we cry for mercy. Let your mercy prevail over judgment. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, King of glory. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Say, Father. Father. Say, Father, according to your word, in Psalm 119 and verse 89, set to me tonight. Set to me tonight. I don't know that area you are trusting the Lord for settlement. He has assured that forever, O oh Lord, thy word has been settled. I don't know the word which you are holding on. Is he healing tonight? Ah, pray to the Lord according to your word. Honor your word in my life. And give me divine settlement. Beloved, we are not praying as those that I desire that this, tonight. According to your word in Psalm 1, 1 about Father, said to me tonight. Let tonight be my night of divine settlement. I don't want 
my laughter to be hindered. I don't want my laughter to stop flowing. You have told me it's an overflowing laughter. Father, King of glory, whatever needs to be settled, Father, settle tonight. If it's healing you desire, cry tonight. Whatever needs to be settled in my life tonight, Father, settle it tonight. Whatever that will not allow my laughter to continue flowing, Father, at tonight's meeting, settle it for me. Mention that thing you want him to settle for you. Settle, no Lord, settle, no Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. It doesn't matter the garden of the wicked. God is sending a word to somebody tonight in Isaiah chapter 8 and verse 9. He said, Associate all ye people and it shall be broken in pieces. I don't know as many that have gathered saying that over their dead bodies will you make it in life. That what is rightfully your own, you will not assess it. Because it is settled, the Lord will break them to pieces tonight. He said, associate yourselves, all ye people, and it shall be broken, broken, broken. Every gathering is in your office, is in your family, is in your compound, is in your neighborhood. Say, Father! Is that all you can do? Beloved, it's your set time to laugh. Oh. And some things need to give way for you to laugh. Say, Father! against my overflowing laughter by the power in the name of Jesus break, 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 break I don't know what you want him to break tonight enough is enough you are carrying your babies your children cannot be carried as certificates for nothing Gate of shame, gate of sickness, break tonight. Every evil association of the wicked over your life, over your peace, over your destiny, over your children. Every evil association, be it in the air, on the land, in the sea. But I break them tonight. Break them to pieces tonight. Break them tonight. Enough is enough. Every evil association, every association of unfriendly friends against my overflowing laughter, against my joy, against my peace. Tonight, break, 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 break. Ah, Father, break them tonight. Enough is enough. Is our season of overflowing laughter. Every evil association against my joy, against my overflowing laughter, against my peace, against my husband, against my children, against my joy. Father, break them tonight. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. He said, and give ye all ye of 
far countries, they will not hear any evil news concerning you again. No? They are not in worry, but everything happening in your life, they know. If in four months, before you come out, don't send SMS. She just left here now. She's putting on white skirts, blue, green, green blouse. Enough is enough. Say, Father, as many waiting from afar to hear evil reports about my life, about my children. Enough is enough. Break their powers tonight. Break their powers tonight. Break their powers tonight. As many waiting. Break their powers tonight. Break their powers tonight. And no, they will no more hear anything evil from my camp. No more evil news from my camp. In the mighty name of Jesus. And it shall be broken in pieces. It doesn't matter how united they are. That unity is of the devil. It cannot stand. It doesn't matter how many they are. Say, Father. Father. As many. That have united. To do me evil. Arise, O oh Lord. And scatter them. Arise, O oh, and scatter them. As many. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Still in Isaiah chapter 8, verse 10 says, Take counsel together. Take counsel together. And it shall come to naught. Who is that one that wants to take evil counsel against you? Ah, it will not stand on. Say, Father, 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 every garden of evil cancel us against my destiny, against my peace, against my joy. Father, frustrate their plans. Let it not stand in the mighty name of Jesus. Frustrate their plans. Is that all you can do for the Lord Christ? Cry tonight, every garden of evil can sell us. Against my joy, against my peace, against my destiny, concerning my children and my husband. Father, break their powers tonight. Let it not stand. Ah, they gather in vain. They take cancel in vain. Ah, it shall not come to pass. It shall not stand. In the mighty name of Jesus. And he says, speak the word. It shall not stand. Why? For God is with us. And that's why we are so convinced. Because he has told us in the beginning that his word has been settled. Say, Father. Every negative word. Spoken against my destiny. By the power in the blood of Jesus. Ah, I decree and declare. They shall not stand. They shall come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. You know what they have told you. That you will not have babies. That you will not get married. That you will die for your time. By the power in the blood of Jesus. Begin to blot them away. Begin to blot them away. Begin to blot them away. <laughs> Vige brogo do si kala braga da 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 dos malege brogo do se kele brogo do si kala braga. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Somebody is here. He's saying, Ah, mom, you not go understand. Oh, this battle fight, big brother, they fight so big past me. My mom fight this battle, but because you are here tonight, an end has come to that battle. 
That's why as we, clap, as we sing this song now, and you clap, just hand off that, over, that battle over to God. Fight my battle, fight, fight my battle. Only go survive so and fight my battle. Fight my battle. Understand how can human being that God created like you speak, speak a word against your destiny? You have fought this battle and fight and fight and fight and fight. He's still dead there. Jesus, now the Lord of hosts, ha- wants to step in and you're doing work and work. Somebody have told you face to face, Koro Koro, let me see how far you can go. Let me see how you go take one that begin. Let me see how your children go take become somebody. Who is that person? Who gave him that authority? He does not have that power. Because you are, you, are, you, are, you are a child of God. And he that is in you is greater. And that's why as we sing this song, now that's the final prayer we are praying. You, know, you hand over that battle to God. I don't know the one they are fighting. You know. The one you are fighting is not the one I'm fighting. We, our battles are different. So you will clap your hands, close your eyes and cry to the Lord. Holy Ghost, arise and fight my battle. Is it? I don't know. You know your own. Fight my battle. Fight my battle. Holy Ghost, arise, over. Fight my battle. Fight my battle. But tonight, something must give way. And who will give way? Devil must give way. It's of our flowing laughter season. Anyhow you want to destroy that devil tonight, do it tonight. Jesus is in the house. Leave your where you are and forget who is around you now. Fight my battle, fight my battle. Only go survive, fight my battle. Comes here, and I don't go, you know, you don't go take anybody to play. Don't give them chance. As you are marching, you begin to match that sickness. If it's fire blood, if it's miscarriage, if it's unemployment, if it's disappointment, match it. Match and match and say that.
thank you. Father, we give you praise for healing me tonight. Ah, that request you brought before him, just give him praise because it is settled. Oh, just appreciate him because it is settled. Thank you, Ishan. Just I begin to appreciate your maker tonight. Give him praise. Say, Father, I thank you for this great deliverance you have given me tonight. Thank you for the assurance that it is settled. 